my process typically involves certain core things regardless of the, the length of time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to first reason with my director. So I usually don't start any work until I know what my director wants. Um, just because I direct too and I understand that a lot of what the audience gets at the end of the day is their perception of the text. Mm -hmm. So before me do nothing, before I make any offering, I want to know where their mind is at. So I have a few conversations with them, ask them how you see this, how you're feeling, which direction, what's the style you're going for, mm -hmm. all of those things. And then now when them say X, I take my script and I start to do research. So I read the script maybe two or three times um, to get a feel of how everybody in that world operates. Um, to see where my character fits in, let me start read. People, mm -hmm. I read a lot. Um, I do. Especially for... <laughs> <laughs> what? We'll, go we'll go back to that. Um, yeah, so I read a lot. So if, for instance, it's a period piece, so like when we do Tempest, mm -hmm. you know, Shakespearean style, you have to go, how oh, them used to talk, why and how their language would have worked in their scenario. So I read mm -hmm. upon that, I read upon how them used to look, um, and that's also why I look the way I look now, people. I decided to grow out my hair because it makes I me... I mine. I don't know why you do that. I mean, it suits you, but I don't know why you do it. Let me tell you why. I grew out my hair because I style my hair differently for each of for my each characters. Way, yeah. You get what I mean? It's yeah. one of the things I do. It helps with my process. When I'm able to look and see how the hair fits into the... Da -da -da -da, it helps me. And when I have more hair on my head, it gives me more leverage to transition. So with my hair at the length that it's at, and I'm going to go longer, um, I can be anything from a gangster to somebody from a 1960s jazz type, you know, noir film type. Mm -hmm. Me can go 1912. Me can be modern day. I can do anything physically in terms of transformation. I don't have much problem. The mm -hmm. only issue would I have is if my hair need for below. And my hair is so good because me have what the girl them call 4C, 4, the four one C, down at the C. end down there. So I have the one there. So when you wash and you tie it down, it shrinks. It shrink down. So too. I don't yeah. need to trim it. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. a part of my process, the physicalization. And that comes after the reading. Um, and then when you reach um, rehearsals now, it's more of the negotiation with the director. If I make an offering and the director don't like it, me simply yeah. clarify what they need. Yeah. But I like to offer a lot of things. Yeah. And if a director says cut, the next time I do it, I'm going to do it different until them, them feel, feel something. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like to play with my other, my co-stars. You know what I mean? So me like to see what them offer and see how that um, affect the whole sequence, whatever the case may be. And then leading up to show now, you know, so when costumes start reach, you have to make more adjustment because based on how your clothes look, it all helps shape how you move in the clothes. Mm -hmm. And that's another critical part of my process, how my characters move. Um, I'm a very physical actor, and a lot of the internal come when we understand how they move and how they see themselves in the world. So, yeah, that's a pretty much my process. Reading, making offerings, figuring out how they look on the outside, and then digging into the objectives once I do my homework, I do all of homework. Mm -hmm. um, Find where each line I say, how much beat in each line, how much things we can communicate in each beat, and working that through over the course of the time. Okay, so I've summarized all of that into know what the director wants, research, research, long 4C hair. <laughs> <laughs> to put it in simpler terms, yeah, that was that one. yeah, pretty <laughs> well. <laughs> so, all right. Wait, before before I move on to you said you said you're a very physical actor. Before I go on to that, because I have a question about there's something I want to know about that. For me though, like I mentioned, mm -hmm. it is quite unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you the honest truth, to not be an avid or or you know, a very good no, not very good. I'm a good reader, I just don't like to read. Mm -hmm. In the creative space, it's kind of a disadvantage. But but how I, you know, get into character or how I you know, characterize my various characters for characterization. Profound. Is, <laughs> is I look for video clips. Ah, I, um, but that's the research. Yeah, yeah, I know, you know, that, that, yeah, that's it for me. That's, so I get my research from videos, not from 
um, books or stories mm-hmm. or, inf- or news or whatever it is. So how I get into character is, that, like I mentioned, I, I watch uh, videos. Mm-hmm. Videos. Video, video, video content is what I consume to get into to, character. Right. So for, for The Tempest, I watched Pirates of the Caribbean. Nice. I looked at videos, you know, how pirates usually behave, how people of that era usually behave. You know, it's, it's kind of, uh, what's that? I don't remember what the, perfect, the, prop, the proper name is for that, that era, but that's how I personally get into the character. Elizabethan? I was going yeah. to say that, but I don't want to, to yeah, not be correct. In that, right? yeah, so that's why I never said that. Yeah. Yeah. 